Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily create a new database and table on MySQL Workbench, the current version 8.0.27. So, go to start, type cmd, click on open to open it. Here in type the command mysql hyphen hyphen version and here in you can see we installed 8.0.27. Let's open Workbench, go to start, type mysql Workbench. On typing, you can see MySQL Workbench 8.0 is visible. Click on it to open. Here you can see while installing Workbench, we created the default root user. So now I'll connect to it, double click. So we are inside the Workbench. Now on the left, you can see we have our schemas, which is also known as database. This is the default one, which gets created by default. Here, these are the tables. Click on it. Here are the columns in it. I'll just click on this sign to see the columns of the table and the entire table. On double clicking, you can see a table is visible. This is a demo table. And here, the command is visible because we wanted to see the table. So, it automatically executed the query select star from table name. So, here are the table columns. From here the indexes, from here the foreign keys and triggers are visible. Now let's close this. Here what we'll do, we will just create a new database and a table inside it. For that, here the sign is visible. On keeping the cursor you can see create a new schema or you can also right click here and click on create schema. Let's create. I have clicked on it. Now here add the name of your schema that is the name of a new database let's say my database name will be amit db1 so here you have entered a name keep the default care set as well as collision now i'll click on apply on clicking apply the review window is visible here the command to create a new schema is visible i just need to click on apply here from here you can also understand how to create a schema in workbench click on apply on clicking apply you can see SQL script was successfully applied to the database and click on finish. Now on the left you can see we have a new database we created Amit DB1 database. Now here the tables are visible double click right now nothing would be visible because we haven't created any table. Now here you can click on this sign to create a new table in the active schema that is the active schema is Amit DB1. The active database is Amit DB1. So you can right click on the tables and click on create table click on it on clicking you can see the ui is visible to create a table now let's add the name of the table i'll give the name employee table let's say care set and collision i'll keep the default here you can add comments so that you can refer later now we need to create columns in it so just click on this sign now the section is visible now when you will double click here it will allow you to add the first column. I'll double click. Now you can see we can add our first column. I'll double click here. Let's say my first column is EMP ID. Type ID, I'll go for hint obviously. Primary key, yes, I'll set it and not null. So every employee will get a unique employee ID. So we have set it as primary key. Now to create a new column, double click here. Let's add EMP name column. It will be under var care obviously because it's a string. 45 here means it will be 45 characters. Let's keep it to let's say 60. I'll go for 60. Now let's set it not null because we want all the records for employees. I'll double click here again and add employee age. Age will come under int. So double click here and from the drop down you can select int. Keep it not null again. Let's add last field here. I'll go for employee department. Department, let's keep var care. It's fine, 45. It should be not null again. Now, here you can also set the default value. So, this is the default constant. If you won't add any value while inserting, this value will get entered. It's a basic table. So, we will leave it right now. Now, you just need to click on apply. Now you can see our table got created. Create table. 
employee table under four columns id name age and department and with its data types and constraints primary key was only employee id and the same is visible so now you also know the query for it it created on its own now click on apply sql script was successful that means it has been successfully applied to the database click on finish now we have created employee table click on the mark again the table mark and let's see what is visible here our table is visible so i hope you know that to get values from a table you need to type select star and from then the table name so this is what we have done it automatically shows you the query so you can learn it in a better way now we have empty table we have our empty table here because we haven't added any values now let's add a value so here is the grid now i'll just double click here now enter the value let's say employee id is 1 employee name let's add tom age 25 and department let's say operations because we added worker here int here worker here and int here now let's add second value id 2 name let's say i'll set as emma age let's say 23 and department finance third in the same way i'll add brad age let's say 27 and department let's say department let's say marketing fourth let's add the last record bradley age 26 department it let's say so we have inserted the records now you need to just click on apply i'll click on it so these are the statements for insert i hope you know that to insert records in a table you need to use insert into then the table name then you need to add the column names and then each value after the values keyword so we have added here now click on apply sql script was successfully applied to the database click on finish now guys our table is having the following values i'll refresh here and click on the mark here table mark here are the values of a table in the same way you can create a new table i'll close this let's say right click here create table so let's add the second table i'll give the name department so here is a department table let's click on the arrow now add columns to it let's say i'll double click here department let's say i'll add department id at first i'll set it as primary key and not null now let's add department name worker it's fine not null department zone let's say i'll set it as worker again not null so we created our second table let's click on apply here so this is how you can create a table you can see it again create table command then the table name then the values that is column name data type and constraints column name data type constraints and the same for the last column primary key we have set is department id now click on apply so here we are executing successful sql script was successfully applied to the database click on finish now on clicking tables we have two tables department and employee here it is i'll click on the mark again so this is our first table and the second table is this click on it nothing is entered here because we haven't added any values now let's add values one name let's add operations zone let's say it's north in the same way enter values for others so here we added values now just click on apply so the commands are visible again to insert values just click on apply successful again apply to the database finish so guys we created two tables employee and department under under amit db database 
So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily work with MySQL Workbench 8 and create a new database and table. We created two tables, department and employee under new database, Amit DB1, that is a schema. So guys, if you like the video, do subscribe to our channel, Amit Things.